Today I'm going to make a plaster mold of my hand, otherwise known as a life cast. The reason for this is so that I can make custom prosthetics which fit my hand perfectly and will move as my hand moves, unlike gloves or something like that which will bunch up and just totally look fake. So if that sounds interesting to you, well, stick around. The product I'm going to use today is Rigid Wrap from Activa. I've used this for life casts of my face before to make other types of prosthetics, and it works perfectly. I'm going to try it on my hand today. So before getting started, I go ahead and get my little bowl of water here. And I've cut the Rigid Wrap into strips and a couple smaller strips. Always cut more than you think you're going to need, and don't be afraid to cut up the whole package if you have to, because if you use this stuff, you're always going to be using it in strips like this anyhow. There we go. Get everything set. Clean off my spot here a little bit, and we'll just go ahead and get to wrapping. Take one strip, dip it in the water, and begin laying out your pattern. Be sure to overlap your straps in different patterns. That way you get the best coverage and you get the uh, best strength for your mold. Pretty simple process. Set time for this is about a half hour. So I hope you got some tunes playing in the background or maybe you're watching TV at the same time. but. You're going to be stuck wherever you are for about 30 minutes. And through the magic of editing, it's 30 minutes later and this mold is pretty dry. So very slowly, I begin to try to break the seal between my skin and the plaster. Note that I did not use any type of petroleum jelly or anything like that. I probably should have, but it's not that big of a deal. Slowly move the mold on the plastic sheeting there, and eventually it'll pop free. To get my hand out of this cast, the only thing you can really do is slowly go around each finger and kind of break up the loose plaster a little bit. Most of it will just rub right away. Kind of clear up the spaces on your fingers there so that they're going to be a lot easier to get out here in a, about a minute. All I do now is slowly start wiggling one finger at a time. Start with the pinky here and it just pops free very easily. There's no rush in this process. Kind of got to move very slowly so as not to risk cracking your mold. But if you work consistently, each finger will begin to pop free. With just a little bit of pressure, the wrist pops free. And all I've got left are my final couple fingers. And everything will release. Just like that. So here's the cast that will serve as my mold. I think I got some pretty good detail here. Time to mix up some plaster. So I've got my mold here. Should work pretty well. I've also got a little container here to mix up my plaster. Got some olive oil I'll be using as mold release. And I've got an old bag of plaster which I'm not real sure about. But we'll see if it works. So as I'm mixing up my plaster here, I'll tell you that I went ahead off camera and coated the inside of that mold with that olive oil for a mold release. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and pour the plaster into the mold. But I can tell you right now, I've already got a problem. I mixed this plaster a little too aggressively and just as I feared, I think this is a quick setting plaster. So I'm against the clock right now. It is not flowing into the mold the way that I wanted it to. It should flow just like pancake batter and it's not, I'm having to force it into each one of the fingers. I am not 100% sure that this is going to work. As a matter of fact, I am pretty darn sure that this is going to be an epic fail at this point. But I'm going to go ahead and keep trying to 
uh, mash this plaster into this mold. I'm this far in. We'll see how it turns out. As you can hopefully see here, I'm trying to pound air bubbles out and there are no air bubbles moving through this plaster, which tells me that it is already set. It's way too thick. Uh, I did not move quite fast enough and I definitely used the wrong type of plaster. I'm going to go ahead and set this aside and see what happens. Well, it's about a day later and we're going to go ahead and unwrap this thing and see how it turned out. Basically, it's just a matter of going ahead and peeling off the casting material. It comes off really easily. With that mold release that I had in there, it separates from the plaster that I had to smash in there. And once I go ahead and get a nice firm grip on it, make sure nothing's going to break, and reveal my quite obviously failed masterpiece here. So as you can see, all these air bubbles created massive gaps because the plaster set up way too quickly. So that's on me for not pouring, or actually not mixing the plaster quickly enough and pouring it quickly enough into the mold. I used different plaster on my face mold that I did recently, and it turned out perfectly. But this is basically just a complete mess. There are just way too many voids and gaps for me to use this to make prosthetics. Just gonna have to try again. But you stuck around this long and waited, so fear not, true believer. In the creature shop, there's nothing that goes to waste. Even a failure can turn into something absolutely fantastic if you just take your time. Thanks for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed seeing this epic failure, feel free to give me that thumbs up like. Follow us on Instagram and see what projects don't make it to video. And maybe, just maybe, I'll see you on the next video. If you enjoy videos about the randomness of our amazing world, consider clicking on the globe to subscribe. Or maybe checking out one of the other videos right here.